And millions of dollars for New Mexico education could soon be gone. Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. It is getting a lot of attention right now in Santa Fe. Tens of millions of federal education dollars at stake, all because of how the state has been paying for special education. And while education officials are fighting to get that money back, it could be out of their hands. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live in Santa Fe to explain. Kim, this is the focus of a hearing, a Senate Finance Committee hearing, going on right now here at the Capitol. There's some dispute over just how much money, uh, federal money, New Mexico could lose. Lawmakers are estimating it could be $150 million, while the state says it's closer to 42 or $43 million. The problem stems from a federal policy that requires states to maintain or increase state funding for special education or get their federal grant funding cut. Because of the state's budget crunch starting in 2009, all education funding, including special ed, was cut over two school years. In 2011, the feds notified the state that there might be a problem with that. Last August, New Mexico formally applied for a waiver so they wouldn't have to see money taken away. That waiver is still under consideration while New Mexico gives the feds more information. Education Secretary Designate Hannah Scandera says students in need will get served no matter what the feds ultimately decide. We are committed to making sure no student has um, missed any services going forward. We have a track record that says they haven't and will continue to ensure students are set up for success and that we meet the expectations and needs that they have. If the waiver is denied, PED says New Mexico would see federal grant funding cut about $43 million over the next two years. They say they're already prepared for that. The State Department of Education says it's already set aside half of that money from its proposal for next year's budget, just in case the waiver gets denied. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Alex. Now, it's unclear when the feds could rule on that waiver. The state has until Valentine's Day to send in more information to support its case.